Hey, and welcome to another video from Mr. Hegarty here. It's a GCSE revision video. It's video seven on the, on the selection we're doing, and it's on factorizing, the second video on factorizing. Just to remind you the purpose of these videos, if you want to pause and read this, in summary, it's a collection of videos to help you pick up some easy marks in the higher paper, mainly grade C and grade B topics, not explained in depth, it's supposed to be short and sharp, Make a revision card with the examples I'm going to do. On the back of that revision card, try the exam questions I give to you. Right, so let's do these examples. Factorize. These are called quadratic expressions. The reason they're called quadratic expressions is their highest term has a squared. x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared, k squared, y squared. So they're all called quadratics. When we um, try and factorize them, we always perform this sort of algorithm, this operation. We look at the last term, negative, uh, which is 10 in this case, and we ask ourselves, can we think of any two numbers that multiply to that 10 and add up to this number here, the number in front of x, which is 7? So can we think of two numbers that multiply to 10 add to 7? We'll always think of the multiplying ones first, and what multiplies to 10? Well, 1 and 10, they can never add to 7, but also positive 2 and 5 and 2 add 5 is 7. So the numbers are positive 2 and positive 5, so we can factorise this straight away as x with a positive 2 plus 2, and x add 5. Expand that out and check you get that, but you do. Okay, next one. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to negative 3. So we're looking to multiply to negative 10 and add up to negative 3. Well, what multiplies to negative 10? well, um, some combination of uh, 10 and 1, but you can never get a negative 3 from that. But better would be the 5 and the 2. Now, how would we get a negative 3? Well, if it was a negative 5 and a positive 2, these combine to negative 3, and they multiply to negative 10. So this would factorise as x subtract 5, x add 2. Right, next one. We're looking to multiply to negative 10 and add to 2. So we're asking to multiply to negative 10 and add to 2. Again, multiplying to 10, 1 and 10, you'll never get a 2 out of that. So stick with 5 and 2. So write 5 and 2 down. How could I get a... Uh, sorry, this should have been a 3, my fault here. That should have been a 3. Okay, that should have been a 3. Okay, so how... Uh, sorry, how could you... Um, how could you get... A uh, 5 and 2 must multiply to 10. How could you get a 3 out of it? Well, positive 5 and negative 2. So this would factorise to x add 5, x subtract 2. Okay, the next one, multiplying to positive 10 and adding to negative 7. So we want to multiply to positive 10, but we want to add up to negative 7. Well, 5 and 2 again are good, but if you have 5 and 2 and a negative 5 and a negative 2, Negative 5 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 5 combined with negative 2 is negative 7. So this would be x subtract 5, x subtract 2. Right, what about this one here? Well, when k squared subtract 1k, remember there's a hidden 1 there, subtract 12. So we're looking to multiply to negative 12, and we're looking to add up to negative 1. Well, what multiplies to 12? Well, 12 and 1, but you can't get uh, you can't combine them to get a 1. But 3 and 4 would be good numbers. And how could you combine them to get a negative 1? Well, a positive 3 and a negative 4. And positive 3 multiplied by negative 4 gives you the negative 12, and they combine to negative 1. So this, in this case, would be k add 3, k subtract 4. And last one here, remember y squared subtract, there's no y's, subtract 49. So we could rewrite this as y squared subtract 0 y's, subtract 49. That's the best way to, to write that. Remember, there's no y's. And now we're looking to multiply up to negative 49 and add up to 0. Well, what multiplies 49? 7 and 7. And if you had 1 as a positive and 1 as a negative, positive 7 multiplied by negative 7 is negative 49. And positive 7 add negative 7 is the 0 y. So this would be y add 7, y subtract 7. Okay, there are the six examples. Now try the exam questions 
I'll pause the, vi pause the video, I'll go through in 10 seconds. Okay, so for this one we were looking to multiply to positive 30 and add to 13. Think what times is to 30, 10 and 3. Positive 10, positive 3, they multiply to 30, add to positive 13. This would have factorised as k add 10, k add 3. In this case here, we're looking to multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3. I'm thinking 5 and 2, but negative, uh, positive 5 and negative 2 will do the trick. Because positive 5 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 10, and positive 5 add negative 2 is positive 3. So this would factorise as x add 5, x subtract 2. This one here, we're looking to multiply to 16, and we're looking to add up to negative 10. Well, what multiplies to 16? Well, 8 and 2, I'm thinking. And 8 and 2, how can we combine them to get negative 10? Well, negative 8 and negative 2. So this would factorise as y subtract 2, y subtract 8. Last one, remember to write this as y squared add 0y subtract 16. We're looking to multiply to negative 16 and add up to 0. I'm thinking 4 and 4, where 1 is positive and 1 is negative. That way, that way they multiply to negative 16 and they add to 0. So this would be y add 4 and y subtract 4. Okay, so we're done on that.